guys, welcome back to my channel, Live with Anya Marie. Today I want to share a journey with you that we just recently experienced and I also want to chat to you about when God says no. So obviously many of us have heard that answer, the word no, to a certain situation or question or if you want to do something. And the person that I am, if someone says no to me for something, if it's a, a person close to me, I want to have an explanation. I want to know what the reason is as to why I can't do something. And growing up with a father who was in the army, I did not get that explanation. My explanation was because I said so. <laughs> and I just want to share one beautiful thing. So when I used to want to do something or go buy something or maybe go to a friend, I always went to my mom first because I knew she would say yes. My mom would always tell me, I don't have a problem with you going or doing this or whatever, but go make sure it's fine with your dad as well. And at that time, I was like, oh no, don't say this words because he's going to say no or he's, he might, I might not go or whatever. But now if I think about it, many years later, it's such a beautiful thing for me that my mom honored my dad in that way because she showed that there's unity and they are one person and whatever my dad says, that is what goes. Um, and I love that. That is like marriage goals 101. Getting back to the story. So usually, not usually, not always, but most times when I would ask my dad about something or if I can go somewhere or buy something or whatever, his answer would be no. And I would get so frustrated and I would want to know. Uh, but why not? <laughs> and then he would, he would just say, because I said so. And that is my answer. And it really frustrated me because my brother and I are seven years apart. And obviously because he's older, he gets more privileges in the sense of he can take the car and go somewhere. Or he can go to his friends and whatnot. And he's a boy. You know, it's safer for them and whatnot. So for me, it was really difficult to just accept that. But right now, as a young woman, I completely understand why my dad said no to certain things. He protected me. And he knew that some things that I asked that I wanted to do, there was either maybe not the money for it at that moment, or he knew that the friend that I want to go to is not the right friend for me, or that they might, might do wrong things that night. And he just wanted to protect me. And at that time, obviously, it made me so upset. But right now, I am so grateful for how he handled it and how he raised me. And that just makes me think so much about God and how sometimes we pray for something and we ask for something and we sow for something or we plan for something and then God says no. Or he, he gives you something and then it gets stopped. For instance, we as a family were planning on going to Namibia for this year for July for two weeks to go visit my grand for her 80th birthday and my mom's whole family would have been there. Now, I can't explain to you guys how excited I was for this adventure. I have been planning outfits, I've been planning to get a GoPro because I really want to like photograph and video everything that we do there. We've been planning the trip, we've been playing accommodation, everything. So we have really been <laughs> so excited for this trip. And on top of that, we prayed that God will provide the finances for this because at that moment, a year ago, when we started planning it, we knew that we don't have the amount of money to set out every month in order to save for this thing. So something huge had to happen. And literally a few days after we prayed about it and searched for it, someone came to my husband and it's someone that's not a personal friend or anyone that we really know. 
and she just said that God is telling her to, to pay money to her account and that she wants our details. Now, unknowingly to, to Michael, he didn't know what the amount was going to be, but God led him to give him our Namibia trip account number. And she paid the money in two days later, and it was the exact amount that we have been praying for. Now, knowing that, I knew that this trip is going to happen, God is going to provide, we are going to have an awesome time. And then, as you all know, COVID-19 happened. Now, yes, the lockdown might not be extended further than what it is now. But unfortunately, it's a whole family that wants to go. And people can't take leave anymore. And because of the lockdown, some people weren't maybe paid. So we had to now make a massive decision as a family, which broke my heart. <laughs> but we had to decide to not go anymore. And this really made me question God. It, 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 it made me confused as to why is this happening I know that you can provide etc etc and I literally I probably cried for about two hours but like a really ugly cry and so many things went through my head about I was just like so immature in the moment and the next morning when I woke up God just gave me that scripture that says I can read it to you guys. It's in John 13 verse 7. It says, You don't understand now what I'm doing, but it will be clear enough for you later. And immediately that peace just came over me of, you know what? You don't know what would have happened on the road. You don't know who needs the finances right now, etc., etc., etc. But God knows. And He has a plan for this. There's another verse that I just thought of immediately. And that is in Romans 8 verse 28 and it says and we know that all things work together for the good to those who love God to those who are called according to his purpose so I know for a fact that God has a purpose and a plan and a will with this whole journey that we're going on right now and I know for a fact that we will go to Namibia one day it's just not right now and just as my dad had to say no to me and when I was a kid, the same way I'm saying no to Maya for certain stuff that she cannot have right now or whatever, and that is to protect her. And that is because I, as her mom, can see this is not going to be good for you or not right now or maybe later, but the answer right now is no. And the same way God sometimes says no to us because He's protecting us from whatever situation because He knows what's going to happen in the future. And it says here that He makes all the things work for the good. So right now, I have peace in my heart and know that something good is going to come out of this situation where we did not go. We have the finances now to take us through this lockdown season. And we have peace in our hearts knowing that a year ago already God provided. And I know that we will have our adventure one day. It's just not right now. So to you who's listening to this video right now, if you've been praying for something and hoping and waiting for that one thing that you're praying for, and God is maybe saying, no, not right now, just keep praying. Or pray that what is God's will, what is His purpose for this thing? And don't give up hope. God is a loving father. And there's a reason why he is saying no to your situation right now. So don't give up. Keep heart and know that one day you will understand why all of this is happening. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel to get more motivational videos. And please comment below what type of videos you would like to see. If you want to see a day in the life video of us in the lockdown please like comment that otherwise share this with whoever you feel maybe needs this motivation and be blessed enjoy your day guys bye